one of the more daunting parts of the Italian rapier canon, namely uh, the second part of Fabris's humongous Noschermo. Um, this is where, after a um, after an exhaustive and exhausting exploration of basic theory and techniques, Fabris then goes on to say that if you really want to freak out your opponent, just run at him with a sword. <laughs> it's that simple. Um, this is based on everything he's covered in the first part of the book. It's also uh, based on a exquisite grasp of measure and tempo, which we all possess, of course. Um, the idea is um, that through motion, uh, that a sword and body in already in motion can better take tempi going from one motion to the next, if they are unified. Uh, now, some of you are going to look at this and you'll go, yeah, I see that coming. I could beat that. Uh, and of course, if you see it coming, you can beat it, right? Um, I, I would like you to watch this and put, try to put yourself in the perspective of someone who's seen this happen to him for the first time. The idea, of course, is that there's not going to be a second time. It's a one-off. <laughs> um, now, the, um, uh, the single rapier part of the, of the second book, which is what we're going to show you, is uh, divided into six techniques or rules. Um, yet each one a little subtler than the previous one. Uh, we're going to show you a few variations on each. Okay. Um, the first technique shows you how to dominate the opponent's blade without crossing it, thereby keeping your point freer to take Tempe to move through the attack without risking a bind. Uh, and, of course, this is until the opponent decides to try to bind you the attacker sword, providing an opening in a tempo. Uh, so we will show you uh, the basic attack and a few various uh, eventualities from various uh, of the patient's responses. Right. So this will be the first technique.
the second technique doesn't bother even doesn't bother dominating the opponent's blade until the moment of the strike. What it does do is provide excellent cover throughout the approach, as you'll see. techniques combine the, combine the two basic ideas. Uh, here we're um, not really making any aggressive action towards the opponent until the very instant of stepping into the measure. And of course, until we step into measure, he can't hit us. That's the idea. <laughs> All right. So this is the uh, couple of techniques from the, a uh, couple of uh, um, actions from the third technique, followed by a couple from the fourth. You'll, you'll see the difference. Attacker's not going to deal with the blade at all. He's going to target the hand, constraining the hand and forcing the, uh, the defender to move it if he wants to counter in any kind of way. With disastrous results. <laughs> action uh, where the, the first crossing we gradually form a very strong guard that's going to resist all counters. Uh, gradually is the operative word. <laughs> 